Problem number four. A person uses 46 rolls of toilet paper in two-fifths of a year. What is this person's toilet paper use rate in rolls per year? The clue for what I'm supposed to do in this problem, I see here where it says rate, and then here where it says rolls per year. When I see this per, and then I see these two, like rolls and year two things, that's my clue that I'm finding unit rate. Because unit rates, the units always say blank per blank. It always looks like this for the units on a unit rate. So I'm gonna set up my unit rate, and it al already says right here, the order. It tells me that it's supposed to be rolls per year. So I go ahead and I put the rolls in the numerator. So 46 rolls, that goes in the numerator. And then the denominator is the two-fifths of a year. Two-fifths of a year. And since I have a fraction that contains a fraction, this is a complex fraction. And to solve a complex fraction, the first step is to make sure that both the numerator and the denominator are fractions. The denominator is already a fraction, two-fifths, so I don't have to change that. The numerator is not written as a fraction. To change an integer to a fraction, you place it over one. So I'm going to place 46 over one. And now both the numerator and the denominator are fractions. Step two in solving a complex fraction, you record the numerator fraction first, so 46 over one is the numerator. Then the denominator fraction goes second. And this is the step where we trade out the fraction bar for a division symbol. Basically a division symbol in another form because a fraction bar really means division. And then we're ready for that final phase where you apply keep, change, reciprocal. So the keep locks in the first fraction. The first fra fraction you copy, it's exactly the same as it was, was, 46 over one. You change the division to multiplication, and then you record the reciprocal of two fifths, which would be five halves. And then you multiply the numerators, 46 multiplied by five, you might be able to do that in your head. If you can't, go ahead and use your process for multiplication. Six times five is 30. I put a zero here and carry the three. Four times five is 20 plus three is 23. So I get 230. If you were doing it in your head, you just think 40 times five is 200. And then six times five is 30 and 200 plus 30 is 230. Then I multiply the denominators and I get a product of two. Then I take the 230 and split it in half. So I'm gonna do this in my head. Half of 200 is 100. Half of 30 is 15. So half of 230 is 115. So that means that this person uses 115 rolls per year. So R for rolls, P for per, Y for years. 115 rolls per year.